Today is going to be a great day. Tonight, I am going to a party. A friend of mine is having her birthday party. Well, it's not that she's having her birthday party. We're throwing her a surprise birthday party. And before I go to the party, I'm going to check into a hotel by myself, drop my stuff, and then go to the birthday party. Then I'm gonna get picked up, and then I'm going to sleep at a hotel instead of home, because at my home, there is going to be a party, and I'm not invited, so I gotta clear my way and sleep at a hotel. So it's a fair trade. So I'm gonna get ready. I have some stuff to do. I'm gonna take a shower and then I am going to the hotel. One of the things I need to do is to clear this copyright strike. And then all I need to do is to put a sweater in this bag. This is the bag I'm bringing with me. Usually I say I'm gonna pack light and then I don't, but today I really only have a bottle of perfume, some essentials, uh, like underwear and uh, something to sleep in body lotion some food and that's it i'm gonna throw in a sweater obviously for tomorrow but that's basically it i'm wearing black jeans to the party so all i gotta do is switch up my festive top with a sweater well, this is the end result i am not really trying hard i have a sparkly sweater on and that's it. I'm really sorry. I'm supposed to wear something festive, but it's going to be so cold and I'm not feeling it. I just want to be, I'm probably going to stand in the kitchen and help out because I'm not down with partying right now. I don't feel it. But I am going to support my friend and I think the best way to do it is to just go and help out where I can instead of going there and being the party animal. I'm not about that right now. Maybe next year or next month. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'm leaving now. I am going to, when I get to the hotel, I am going to get rid of the cap and get rid of the braids. I'm just going to let my hair hang loose. I have ties that I'm going to bring with me. And if my hair goes wild, I'll just put it in a bun like I usually do. And that's all she wrote. I'm leaving before I screw up my own very strict timeline. Talk to you in a moment. This is the hotel that I'm going to be staying at. I would show you around, but it's really cold. I'm kind of running late. So we're going to save that for next time or tomorrow morning when I have all the time in the world. So I have to be on the fourth floor. Uh, this place is a maze. I really uh, walk like five minutes towards the elevator, but we'll see if I get lost once I get back. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. So I made it. This is the room. I mean, it's Amsterdam, so it's not going to be crisp in you. But it's so cute look at how cute this room is it's a large bed with everything oh slippers and a robe it's very high very high ceilings let's check the view yep it's got quite a few When you look over there, the view is perfect. And the rest is, I think I'm gonna keep the curtains closed cause I only have my night dress with me. I think I'm gonna keep the curtains closed. There's water, there's the television, a large mirror. 
I can't get over how high the ceilings are. Really great. And there's an espresso. I already spotted it. There's wine. Lots of Nespresso cups. I was afraid there wouldn't be enough, but this is great. This is a water heater. Lots of storage. Iron board and a press machine. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Also an iron. I'm not used to getting that in a hotel room and a fan. I guess it could get very hot here, but today is a very cold day, so I'm not worried about that. And the mini fridge is stocked. But of course you have to pay for everything, so we're not touching that. What is this? Oh, this is so cute. These are tea bags. I haven't seen this before. It's like the do not disturb signs, but tea. I'm gonna use one of those. This is the price list. 450, 350. It's not crazy expensive, but definitely more expensive than supermarket. I see half of the things on here. I don't see the store glasses. These are here, but they're not on the list. And there's water. I don't know if it's complimentary. I guess it is over there. Yes, with compliments. I'm definitely going to drink this water because I always get thirsty at night. And oh, this is so welcome. There's the list to order. They have bread, salad, salmon, vegan salad, if you toss off the egg, tomato soup, Asian soup, fish, burger, vegan burger with goat cheese, fries. I hope I get home in time from the party to order something because I really want to eat something before I go to bed. If I'm late, I'm gonna go into town and order stuff, but it's crazy cold, so I would rather just sit in the comfort of my bed and eat something. We're gonna make this happen. Right now, I'm going to drop my stuff and head out to the party. Normally, I would take off my shoes and make a whole ritual out of it. Normally, I would make a ritual, take off my shoes and really, you know, be mindful about where I put things. But I'm kind of running late. This is what I'm wearing. It's nothing fancy, but it has sparkles. So I really hope that people will just think oh it has sparkles so this is festive the thing is that I will probably get a ride back to the hotel so I don't have to worry about the cold once I get back and I don't have to worry about my hair looking funky when I get back I just have to make it to the party with public transportation and then I'm good how is this? is this okay? good enough? I'm just going to spray some perfume and then I'm done yes that's it that's all I'm gonna do I also, I also didn't bring any makeup with me because I already did a little of makeup 
and once I get back to the hotel, I'm going to put on a mask, really soak in the top. Oh, we didn't see the bathroom yet. I'm gonna soak on the top and then not put any makeup on at night, obviously, <laughs> and not in the morning, cause I'm just going to, this is better. I'm just going to go into town with my cap on. I don't need makeup for that. So I didn't bring anything with me to glam up. Let's look at the bathroom. I totally forgot. How can I forget the bathroom? How do I turn it on? Oh, I probably need to put the card in here. Let's put the card inside of the slot. I hear that you can easily put any card in here. It has nothing to do with the room key. So this. It's so cute. I can't forget I forgot the bedroom. So lots of extras. This is shampoo. This is body wash, hair care, and cream, body cream. Oh, I didn't have to bring body cream with me. This is also very, very cute. And over here, your skin brightness. What is this? A makeup remover. Wow, I did not see that coming. And then it's here. I feel cotton butts and q tips. Two of them and a shower cap two shower caps so there's one for each person this is the toilet this is the shower two heads just like home same size and the top i'm really going to sit in the top tonight and maybe again tomorrow morning i brought a bubble bed with me um what was it eucalyptus bubble bed with me so i'm definitely enjoying the tub and there's the do not disturb sign which i will be using because i do not want to be disturbed i was thinking about bringing wine with me but i fall asleep when i drink wine and i didn't want to ruin the experiment i really want to enjoy as much as possible this night in this room i don't want to just come in and fall asleep so this is everything i'm going to grab my bag and head to the station again without my cap which i'm a little nervous about because my hair tends to do wild things but i could just put it in a bun and as soon as i get to the party i could just Take the bun out. I made it back to the hotel. I <laughs> I was going to order room service, but I ate at a party, so I'm kind of confused. And do I want to order something just because I can, or? Am I not going to order something and just sit in the top and enjoy that? I think I'm gonna just enjoy the night in the top and have a great breakfast tomorrow in town. Which makes a lot more sense because I'm really stuffed. <sighs> yeah. And also I really don't feel like waiting to get these clothes off just because room service is coming. And if I order something now, I don't know how long it's going to take before they get here. And there's really nothing I can think of that I would like to eat. So, yeah, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Put my hair up because I'm going to sit in the top. And I don't want it to get wet because I got to walk around with the same hairdo tomorrow. I don't have... Um, a comb with me. I only brought a brush. 
so yeah i'm not feeling like eating soup or burger i could go for fries yeah you know what i'd rather have a coffee I'm gonna just make myself a coffee or two and have a great glass of water but first but first I'm gonna do something like a night routine while I'm running the bed cause I had makeup on my face and I've been in these clothes all day so I'm gonna do something like a night routine get everything off my face and then run the bed Take these socks off and just enjoy the night. So the alarm went off twice. I'm not sure why. I opened the door to put the do not disturb sign on the door, on the outside of the door, and the alarm went off. Maybe it's because a key is inside of here and I opened the door. I don't know. I just hope nobody comes because that's the last thing I'm looking for. Now I'm ready. Good morning. I just woke up in this beautiful hotel room. Completely drained. I'm really thirsty. But lucky for me, I have this bottle of water. I think that I'm going to do my morning ritual, just reading and writing while I drink the water that I have and then I'm gonna make a cup of coffee and then some more and then a cup of tea. I'm not gonna do breakfast. I usually intermittent fast, so. I'm gonna leave early, I think. Uh, I think I have the room until 12, but the stores open around 10. So I'm gonna head into town. I'm gonna get a late breakfast or early lunch or brunch in town i think that's a way better plan because our hotel breakfasts for somebody who doesn't eat meat is just a pure waste of money i mean with bacon and eggs and all of the stuff i can't eat Yeah, so it's winter. It's kind of nonsense to open the windows. It's 7 a.m. I don't think we're gonna see anything. I think it's still dark outside. Maybe I should wait until after my shower. Also, I couldn't find the light switch yesterday night. So, I pulled out <laughs> I pulled out all of the plugs because I couldn't find a switch and this morning I looked up and like behold there's the switch <laughs> so this is the switch and these are all of the lights that I pulled the plug off um, 
this one didn't have a plug so i didn't <laughs> i didn't pull the plug on this one because it doesn't have a plug but the other is this one and there's another one and there's another one i pulled all of the plugs because i couldn't find the switch and switches right over there <laughs> here's one I'm gonna turn this light on. I bet I'm not the only one though. Oh, this is something that I do. I just, because hotel beds are so big, I just dump all of the things that I'm gonna use in the morning on the hotel bed on the other side, cause I'm alone, why wouldn't I? And that way I have easy access when I wake up. But this room is so big that I'm gonna have to walk around anyway. First things first, oh. It's gonna open up. Yay, still pitch dark. I'm not gonna open up anything because that way they will just be able to look inside. I'm gonna open this bottle up, drink all of this water. It's, it's only half of a liter. This is what I drink at home in the morning. And after that, I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm gonna meditate and then I'm gonna start writing with coffee and tea. So I never stayed at a hotel without going anywhere. So I think I'm gonna do that once. Just book a hotel for two nights, check in and not leave until it's time to check out and then order room service, breakfast, everything. I always have a recipe for this in the morning. You know when my voice is the worst in the morning? When I had popcorn the day before or something salty, but usually popcorn because I do eat a lot of popcorn. And that's when my voice is the worst. I mean, it's like my throat is um, suffocating because it's just, it's just dried out completely. one so yeah half a liter goes quickly and it's Amsterdam the water in Amsterdam is very safe to drink we have a lot of uh, calcium in the water it's just not a good thing especially not for your hair um cal is not calcium but cal Calk, we call it calk. I thought you would translate it to calcium, but calcium sounds like a vitamin. I'm gonna put it on the screen. But anyway, because we have that in the water, the water is very harsh, and too much of that is not a good thing. A lot of people boil their water before they drink it. I'm thinking about buying one of those machines again that filters your water. But generally, the water in the Netherlands is safe to drink. It doesn't taste too bad. And it's very clean. Apart from that, it's really hard water. The worst of the whole water situation is that it's killing for your hair. It's so hard for your hair that you can actually have a buildup and 
I mean, how do you get rid of water? You need water in your hair. So that's the only thing. <sighs> Starting to feel alive. I'm gonna show you the door situation because um, I opened the door and then I closed the door again. I wanted to see if I could lock the door because I wasn't sure if the door was locked. And since I'm alone <laughs> and this is a hotel, I'm not sure if people are gonna come to your hotel room to your rescue. If they hear you scream, they may think you're just being kinky. So I barricaded the room with lots of stuff that would make noise if you were trying to open up the door. Let me show you. Let me show you what I did to the room. I put the drying rack in front of it, my shoes, so he or she would trip over my shoes. And then I have this hanger here, which would rattle and then I would wake up and be able to get out of the room because this hotel room has a window that opens. But this morning I checked the window and it's extremely <coughs> heavy to open. It does open, but it's so heavy. And if I did get to open the window, as you can see by the other windows, there's no latch, but I would have to get there. God knows where it leads to, to the roof. I don't know what I was going to do there, but once I got to the roof, I would have to run all the way around and then lower myself to the fire escape. I wouldn't have made it. <laughs> Your girl would have died a thousand deaths. If I was able to open a window before the predator came in, I would die a million other ways outside. So, yeah, I'm so grateful that nothing happened last night. <laughs> I'm so crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna brush my teeth and I start to clean out this mess a little and I'm gonna meditate for a moment. Look what I found. It's a remote control for the curtains. I'm not sure how it works. I think this is open. Yes. I think I want this at home. <laughs> wow, hey. And then there are more buttons. And then don't. Oh, there's a light. I have no idea what the other buttons do. This is to close them up again. Stop open yeah this is cool because the curtains are so high up these curtains are so high because the ceiling is so high so I'm gonna start journaling look at the the color of the sky it's really beautiful it's pinkish I'm going to turn off the lights so that people can look inside and then I'm going to start journaling. My plan is to basically start with 2023, roughly start with 2023, see what I want to accomplish and kind of build a timeline monthly for what I want to do.
so now i'm really done i did all that i wanted to do and you know considering the fact that i didn't bring makeup or a comb i'm just gonna throw on my cap my jeans my t-shirt and head to the stores i'm really excited i'm going to go to this really really big building it's called the Bijkorf. I did um, advent calendar unboxing on the Bijkorf. So we're gonna go to that building and just some other department stores. My nose is running. I mean, I love this hotel room, but as I said earlier, it's old. So it's covered with fabric and there's just a lot of dust. There's, you cannot clean a hotel room like this for people with allergies. It's absolutely impossible. It's just a lot of dust. And just, you know. Anyway, I'm going into fresh air now. <laughs> so I'll see you outside. So that was the hotel experience. So we are now entering the Bijkorf. This is the building I was talking about with the advent calendar. Um, we're gonna call it the Dutch Macy's.